Welcome back to the <laughs> Rocks Rescue series. Uh, we're playing the finale today. And let's see where this is gonna dump us off. Right inside Wiley's headquarters is a safe guess. We still don't have the crash bombs. We lost that la last time there, as you might recall. Hmm. And we still have the normal roll. We're just gonna head on inside and see what uh, happens here. Hmm. Looks like we're gonna have these mines here as gimmick. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, looks like we're gonna just have to fall down here. Okay. Just gonna gently fall on through. Oh, yo, yo. Okay. Easy enough. <laughs> right down onto the garbage pile. And this here looks like a E tank and M tank room. And we. Yeah, that's right. We, have, we lost the freaking. Atomic uh, fire as well. Wow, how did I not get hit there? These spikes are very, very generous. Oh, nice. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Huh. Oh, dang. Oh, yo, yo. <laughs> yeah, holy crap. I, I think I did. Pretty well there, all things considered. It's a pretty damn hard room. I wonder... Yeah, no, we probably can't reach that guy, huh? Well... Oh, oh, yo, yo, yo. Okay, actually this here is a safe spot. Let's just try and... Time it as well as we can and get you out of here and get... Out, and we're gonna have to get rid of this. Let's just let's just do this. Ooh. I'm taking way too much damage. <laughs> this is not great, and I'm losing all my broom. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm not looking too hot here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, yeah, that was the end of it. Very nice. So we are all pumped up. Except we lost all our broom here. That's, yeah, a little bit of a shame, but... Okay, so we can see down here we have a three blue key door. So we're gonna need to go into each of these teleporters is my guess. And maybe... Yeah, we're gonna have to face boss from this series here to get access to Dr. Wily. Hopefully we have some kind of Wily machine down there, and this is actually kind of tricky. We oh, probably don't want to do that, actually. Hmm. Wow, dude, this is actually a threatening magnet man. Yeah, you, you could just try and th uh, thread the needle there and stand in between him when he starts jumping or stand under him, but that's gonna be so rough though. I don't know if I like that uh, strategy. Yeah, see, like, the, uh, the whole magnet thing is just gonna be too rough to deal with. The pulling thing. You know what, we're gonna come back to him later. He's very nasty. Yeah. Nasty. We're gonna <laughs> do Cutman here instead first. See if we don't have any more luck in here. But yeah, that Magnet Man is gonna be serious trouble. I might even have to use an E-Tank against him if I don't find like a good solution to him. There definitely is one. I had one there for a second, but I kind of lost it. Okay, well, Cutman was a breeze. Let's see what this here is about then. Bombman, okay, well, 
it shouldn't be an issue either. Bomb man is just bomb man. Typically. And yeah, you do not want to be up there. That's just <laughs> a bad time. He hit a bomb inside himself there, what the heck, dude? Nope, we're gonna do this, we need to be nimble here. <laughs> and he got me. Okay, there we go. I just had to shut up all playing against him and it went a lot smoother. Now that night, man. Oh. Huh. I wonder how you dodge that to be... Yeah. How, how do you dodge that too, actually? I don't know. Oh, actually, yeah. That is probably a good idea. Yeah, okay. So slide towards him once he's done. Okay. That makes... It a lot easier. Okay, so see, I found a nice trick there against him. Yeah, you definitely gotta make, have to make use of the roll here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but this is still gonna be hard. This is still gonna be very, very tricky. This might be the hardest Magnet Man fight I played. Maybe it's some exceptions when he's in a ridiculous room, you know. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I just went into... <laughs> well, I don't want... I don't know what kind of mode I went into. I went into God mode there and just... Yeah. <laughs> God gamer mode and wrecked his ass. Okay, so that was a nice win there. A nice... A nice, a nice comeback. I'm happy I pulled it off. And this looks very wily esque The tiles here. That and climb. I <laughs> honestly did not quite mean to fall there. Hmm. <gasps> oh, <laughs> that scared me. That legit scared me. Okay, so that, yeah, I did not think what I was doing there. I didn't think through what I was doing, I should say. Nice, and oh, there we go, okay. Climb, hit, go, hit. Nice, okay. Some pretty nice platforming here. Oh, <laughs> hmm. Get the telly out and nice and oh dear me. Oof. Oh, <laughs> right on the noggin. Yes, dude, I really have to concentrate for this level. This is actually pretty damn hard. Well, it, it, it requires it requires me to think, is <laughs> what I'm trying to say. Nice. And yeah, I'm afraid of using my weapon here. I don't wanna fall down and die. 
Nice. Okay, get out of there. Get the heck out. And the bane of my existence, so hard man. Luckily though, we do have we do have the flame sword, which we can just abuse. Damage glitch here if I can pull it off. Which this room is making it a little bit harder. Yeah, since he's not on the same uh, elevation as you at all times, or you know what I'm trying to say. Oh, we got the crash bombs back. Very nice. Very very nice. And a checkpoint and. Yeah, I really like these wishes here too. We got more of these pieces of scrap laying around as well. Hmm. Well, how do we do this? No. Nope. <laughs> Uh, well, obviously this would be much easier if you just shoot the shield guy and don't try and time it, but I want to try the timing once more here before we start gunning him down. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna shoot him when he's far over to the left. Of course, shoot him, but jump. Yeah, see. Just like that. Very cool. Uh, this is where the crash bombs are gonna come in handy. Yep. Like, the nice things with the crash bombs... If... You know, many of the special or the sub weapons are very strong and they require very little uh, ammo to use, but the crash bombs, you know, they are powerful damage wise, but they also use up a lot of energy, so they are very nice if you want to keep things a little bit more balanced. You know, you can't just fire it at everything or you'll probably end up regretting it. Especially if the stage isn't. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. especially if the stage isn't very generous with energy drops, you know. And we're just gonna do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, jumped right into that one. And this is looking... Ooh, we have a yet another boss room here. Or boss segment. Well... Starting with this guy here. Oh yeah. Well, look at this here. He's gonna keep... Keep on going on these platforms perfectly here. Dang! Okay, well, no more is not. Yeah, I'm still not great at fighting Strike Man, if that wasn't obvious enough. Wow. Like... Is it every third bounce that the Striker Ball homes in on you? I'm not sure that actually... There it kind of looked like he was about to zoom in, zoom in on me. Hmm. Wow. Actually? Yeah. If we just try and be a bit smart about this and like 
try and find cover. Yeah, we gotta use our environment here to our advantage. Which currently I am failing at. <laughs> Well, we might have him. Nice! He was just about to kill me. <laughs> One more second, and we would have had my ass. Jeez, that was close. And Sheepman is gonna be annoying, no doubt. Since we don't have any great weapon to fight him with. Well, we do deal two, two, two damage at the very least. On the positive side, that little lightning ball that he likes to shoot is not gonna be very much of a threat here. Whoa. Oi, oi, oi. Well, <laughs> even on health? Oh! Okay, <laughs> just let me... Focus here. Nice. Dude, what am I doing? Free two damage. Maybe we just need to slow play this. Hmm. Wow. Uh, I also don't know how that works. Like when. Like, is it completely random when he fires a high ball and a low ball? Like, I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works. Yeah, we're just gonna change up here again. See how the other rooms are panning out for me here. Oh, okay. Don't do that. Should have him, despite me sucking. Okay, well, yeah, I really just played it very bad towards, towards the end there. Played quite bad. <laughs> Dude, this room looks... Yeah. Looks sick. I'm not sure I want to fight him up there, though. Maybe I have to. Huh. Yeah, you know what? He probably can fall down here, but yeah, it's gonna be like a very precise jump he has to make. So yeah, we're gonna have to try and fight him here where it's a bit awkward for me. Yeah, he's gonna have an easier time to get hits on me, but we're just gonna have to try and dodge our best. One jump, please. Not two, not three. Well, <laughs> come on, <laughs> Sparkman. Yeah, he's being very difficult right now. Thank you. Okay, nice. So, that just leaves Sheepman here. Being a real bastard. And yeah, that's not gonna do it. We need to not take damage before the fight even started. Let's reset again. Hmm. 
yeah, we're just gonna get some damage there. Nice. Like, oh no. Oh, okay, actually, you're more or less safe on this since the lightning doesn't spread out on the shadow platforms. As long as the cloud isn't exactly above you or directly above you. Yeah, just get up here. So yeah, we're definitely gonna sit on the shadow platforms if we have the luxury. Yeah, see, it's much, uh, much, much safer up here. Nice. Dude, what if we can get a perfect run of man here? Well, <laughs> if I keep missing him, that's not very likely. Nice, dude! What a redemption round there! <laughs> Just going flawlessly! Well... Well, 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 and yeah, even the atomic fire is back now, now we have all the weapons. Now all that we don't have is Mega Man. <laughs> So yeah, I think it's safe to same. I think it's safe to assume this here will be the last segment. Based on how we have unlocked weapons and such things, you know. Oh! Gotta pay attention. Oh. Uh -huh. Nice. So, yeah, we just get up time this year and then we just roll down. Hmm. Whoa, okay. Well, I did that segment really well. Wow, this is actually, yeah, quite elaborate here with all the electricity. Hmm. Huh, and look at that! The like, Elec Beam box seems to be like one pixel higher than regular terrain, so... The little spark dudes can't actually leave it. Interesting tech there. And I'm on a very bad cycle. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the damage there. Be cruising around for a while until we get the <laughs> cycle, but yeah, I'm just gonna try and speed it up. Yeah. Nice, okay. Thankfully we got back the crash bounce for that, making it a bit easier and a little bit a bit a little bit less tedious. You know what? We're gonna use a crash bomb here, just one though, because we get full energy down there. I might die here if I hadn't used it because as we have seen in the past I tend to struggle with these guys <laughs> when I only have the sword here. Yeah the octopi have been quite frequent throughout this series here and yeah typically they have been fierce adversaries here and ooh, we're gonna have nukes flying on our heads here. <laughs> How do we 
do this. So we take damage as we fall, or if we fall up here as well. Holy crap, dude. Can we? Yeah. We can't actually fight Napal, man. I think that's the guy we want to start with. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm not using any tag on this round here. This is just... Yeah, this is just a training round. There is so much stuff going on in there. We do have both tanks, right? Yeah. So, whenever I feel like I have a nice run, that's when I'll <clears throat> bust them out here. Now, I wonder, can we involve the cat here? Nice! Oh, what? It didn't work! What happened? Nice, okay. You know what? Nice. Now... <laughs> I just realized something. Can I hurt him? Yes, okay. Yeah, this is just gonna be a matter of time now. I should have this. Nice. Wow, okay. Dang it. Nice, okay. Ooh, that's it. Okay, I managed. I managed. I know I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do that, but I figured that was the easiest way just to tackle Napalm and man there first. Um He was mainly the one who made that very tricky to deal with, like uh, yeah, I was very stressed out with him lobbing napalm on my ass there. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna give the finale here a thumbs up, and we're gonna check how long that took us. 30 minutes, yeah. Safe to say this will be the longest video yet of the whole series, like, yeah. So yeah, like, very cool stage all in all. My favorite segment probably was the very last one. Like I. I like the visuals in the red one too, but yeah, th those um, <laughs> those little electricity, the electricity segment at the very end there, with the electric beams and the cool ways the little Mega Man 3 enemies were used to, was very nice and yeah, it just was very fluent dodging those traps in there as well, yeah. Played out nice and felt nice to finish off. And of course all the bosses also like had very clever boss rooms, like, yeah, especially main, man. <laughs> like, like, who would have thought that we would see a deadly main, man, fight? Yet there are no pits in this room, like, you, yeah. He killed me many times just based on damage alone. It actually, yeah, it, it's gonna take the player a while to figure out the pattern, like, as long as you just take it cool and um, slide under him or roll under him as he releases his magnet pulling. You should be fine, but yeah, it, it takes a lot of timing and patience. You, you gotta play it pretty well, actually. Sheep and Fight 2 was pretty hard to figure out, but yeah, once I realized that the shadow platforms were more or less safe havens, um, you sit on them and the lightning won't really reach you. Like, there are definitely some learning curves to most of those, most, to most of those boss rooms there. Yeah, very cool stuff all around Tylerbot, so yeah, um, I also know you have uploaded Hidden Glacier, <laughs> Glacial Power Plant and the Sky Station Infiltration, so we'll be covering them in the soon future as well, so yeah, I'll look forward to that. But yeah, once again, very nice job on the Rocks Rescue Fortress here, um, 
we finally managed to save uh, Mega Man from Dr. Wily. Um, hopefully he wasn't rewired too much. Hopefully he's still intact. Um, maybe that's the sequel. <laughs> maybe that can be the sequel, like... Oh no! <laughs> We're all rescued uh, Mega Man, but... Uh, yeah, his been all screwed up and always build his own fortress. Uh, yeah, something or other like that. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what comes after this, I guess. Uh, oh well, that will be all for this time. <laughs> Thank you guys so very much for watching and have a nice day.